This first one is called uh, To Randall, uh, Adventure of Class, and um, it's dedicated to my rival. <laughs> and um, everybody, everybody has rivals. Um, so my rival is a very talented poet, and he's sort of more calm and cool and collected than I am. Uh, I actually have cancer, uh, Randall doesn't, uh, which <laughs> is very sexy if you ask my ex-girlfriend. Um, and this is all serious, but this is all true. Um, I wouldn't make light of anything other than myself. Um, so I was reading the Vedas, uh, which are these like, ancient Indian texts, and I really related to this lifestyle in which they sort of built these altars um, made of bricks, and they never really invented any technology because they were too busy building their altars. And I thought Randall wouldn't get that. So I wrote this poem to Randall. <laughs> which is to Randall, inventor of glass. I master the technology to make bricks. I build altars clumped with fire. I am not afraid to light a flower and destroy its beauty. The crispy flower has been taken into a godly feast. Do you pity my imagination? It will kill you. My mother will kill you. She is my imagination. I am a leather horse, and my mother is riding me. You are a man, alert, passionate. You are an almond of glossy hair, capable of being persuaded by fine argument. You even smile eagerly when you're convinced. Remember what a great time we had in the first stanza? And now this, me blubbering to mommy over your brilliance. Tell me what it's like to be you. Well, Max, imagine <laughs> if you stayed by your bricks after your sacrifice until your body warmed them. It's called being indoors, and it's a good first step. I, I die of thirst! Imagine prying fingers through the bricks, making pipes your mind first saw as ghosts. Imagine pressing your lips to the pipes and gently inhaling dew from the outside. You are exquisitely sensitive. I imagine myself defecating on your eyebrows, a unibrow. But one of my godly flower, I inhale the flower smoke, and it allows me to control every inch of my body, and a little man emerges. This is called being possessed. I dance out here, trouserless on the salt flat, dazzled by hail, because every gesture is necessary to make my body his happy home. You have no flower in your indoor dark, farless Randall. Max, I have invented glass to which the sun may light the flower. One of these days, you'll be stable enough to make a woman happy. That will go a long way. The secret to making people happy, Randall, I call at your departing shiny suit, is that I am the people! <laughs> <laughs>